Previously on Thimbleweed Park. Hey, two. Ow. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. Oh, they will be taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. Yeah. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... She became... A video game developer. <laughs> and now... The story continues. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. Einstein's I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Oh, and now we're just controlling her. Okay. Look at journal. Find the ideal job. Check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Escape from Thimbleweed Park. I love how random this game is straight away. I just started talking to a woman that was sat on a bench and now I'm here. Graphics basic. She programs in basic. Well, it is 1987. And there's an ASCII chart as well on the wall. Okay, this is awesome. Right. Let's go. I don't know where the stairs are. Great, how big is this house? Um, okay, I don't know which of these is the stairs down. <laughs> oh really, what is this? We can go down there. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh no, it's a puzzle. No. Oh god, okay. I should... Oh, that was her room. <laughs> well, what's this hall then? The stairs. So it's not a puzzle. Damn it, game. I really thought it was going to be a puzzle where I had to find the right solution to get down the game. Mailbox outside. Mailtron 3000. Why is everything robotic? Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. <laughs> okay, so we have it. Let's look at it. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Bite Me World. Do you have what it takes to become a high-paid game programmer? Mucus Flem Games, the makers of hit games Three Lines of Haze and Behind Jaggy Lines, is looking for qualified applicants. Just complete a mail in this comprehensive programming test and you could be on your way to an exciting and highly profitable career in computer game development as a mucuslet game programmer. Imagine the perks. Long hours. Non-diet soda and pizza. Work with people who don't want to get to know you either. Out of date arcade machines in the rec area. Watch your parent company's profits grow. Apply today. Use your computer to connect with mucuslet to apply. <laughs> wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. <laughs> this could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply! Interesting. There's a modem number to call. 
Okay, so we've done that. We've done two things. Great. So dial in with the modem and fill out. Mail filled out. Get a job. Escape from Kimball. Okay. I'm going to talk to Doug, though. Let's look at Doug. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes. But then I buries them again. All the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. <laughs> I have no idea what his accent even was. Ooh, digging! Okay, Doug, you dig. You go digging, Doug. Let's go back to my room and let's do what we need to do. Is that the doorbell? Okay. So, use computer. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. Yeah. It wouldn't even be a 56k modem, will it, Dolores? I can't believe my computer's connected to Mucus Phlegm. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Um... Well, I don't know if she has a middle name, so I'm just going to say Dolores Edmund. Thank you. What is your address? I don't know. Oh, God. I have no idea. I don't even know what all these states are. I know there's Wyoming, Washington, Wisconsin. I don't know what WV is. Don't shoot me. Um... Noted. Sure. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Okay, basic. She has a book on basic. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question, how many parameters can functions take? Okay. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. It would be better I need to, to go find a address. book about mucus programming. That that sounds like the doorbell again. Okay. Look at the books. Is there a book here with it? This section includes the complete history of mucus phlegm, the pointed history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all mucus phlegm games. That is the doorbell. Okay. It's not. Yes. Okay. It's not just the music. I get that now. I get that. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Okay. So we need to find Uncle Chuck at some point as well. I really want to look at the letter. Do I do it? Do I do it? Okay. Where is this book on programming going to be? It's not going to be in the microwave, is it? It's not going to be in the kitchen at all. Okay. I feel like I've messed up her, um, her application already because I didn't know her address. Oh, nice. So let's use this. Hmm. It says there's a book on mucus here. It's in section 3.1. And where's that? What's 1.1? What's 1.2? Can't go that way. Okay, we'll just carry on going down then. 2.4. 2.3, 2.2. It's gonna be upstairs. 2.8. Possibly. Let's go up these stairs. No. 2.7, Okay. Maybe we go up the big spiral stairs. There's a sign there. Better read it first. Okay. It says, out of order. Out of order? They're just step. They're just there. The sign says it's out of order. God damn you, Dolores. 
that is obviously where 3.1 is. Because obviously everything else, 2.6, 2.8. Well, obviously 3's got to be up. No. Why is nothing easy in my life? Phone book. Let's look at the phone book. I heard about this. The developers tweeted about this. These are the backers. And I think the numbers are their backer numbers. And you can ring them and listen to the voicemails as far as I'm aware. So if anybody's a backer, unfortunately I was not. I didn't have the money at the time to back this. And I had to pay for this today. But if anybody's a backer, and wanted to hear their voicemail, I'd be more than happy to do that for them. This is really cool. So, let's just pick one at random just to hear it. So, let's go with ENC Herrick 5520. Okay, so I want you to use the phone. Let's ring it. Want some rye? Of course you do. Please leave your drink after the beep. I want to do another one. I want to do another one. Let's do another one. So, um, Heinz Bircher. That's a very German name. 1648. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Quite, yeah. Yeah, I knew what he said. Oh, didn't you? Oh, you'll have to learn German. <laughs> um, right, one more. One more before we move on. And let's go with somebody with a B name. Basil Bell, 8898. Basil Bell. Hi. You've reached Basil's answering machine. Probably won't phone you back because I'm a dog. Woof. <laughs> I love that the devs did that though. That's great. What other game can you come in and listen to backers' voicemails? Brilliant. I don't think they would. I don't think all backers. I think the grayed out ones mean that there's there isn't a um, a voicemail for them. So I don't think all the backers did it, which is a shame because they should have. We need to get Dolores this job. We've already let her down because we didn't know her name. You're not helping, by the way, chat. Chuck the plant? Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Can we talk to the plant? No. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. Why are you carrying a full pie around? Give the pie to Chuck. I'd Man. better hold on to this until later. Wait, wait, wait. No one will miss this out of order sign. Oh my word. <laughs> that was the solution. The out of order sign is gone, so it's obviously fixed. Haven't been up here for a long time. Come on, chat, why didn't you tell me? Who are these paintings? That's my grandmother, Edith, and her second husband, Charles. I really admire them. Yeah, we're going this way anyway. Who's this one? That's my great-grandfather, Edmund Edmund, Edmund who was a great industrialist. That's my great-great-grandmother, Lady Edwina. That's my Scottish great 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 grandfather, Edgar the Dragon Slayer. Oh, there it is, look, programming primer. So, pick up. No, there we go. Yes, look at. Mucus programming primer. The follow. Oh, no. Please tell me I don't have to read this and take this knowledge down, do I? 
Naked Ninja, no, 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 no. The puzzles baffle me too much, and then I feel stupid when it's a really simple solution, just like, pick up the sign. Because it just makes me feel stupid. I'm going to have to note all this down, aren't I? Look. Functions can take up to eight parameters. Can I use this book? Do I have to answer all the questions in one go? Or can I answer one? Then look it up. Let's try that. Functions can take up to eight parameters. That was the question she asked. So let's go. So let's try answering the question. Hopefully I can just save my progress to refer to it. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. How many parameters can functions take? Eight. Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? Um, I think it was 256, but I'm going to get back. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. Yes, it would. I need to study one. the mucus phlegm programming book some more and try again. Okay. Up to 256. Yeah, I was right. See, I, I'd taken that knowledge in. I read it. My brain absorbed it and stored it to be forgotten. Oh, look, there's a plush toy. I want the toy. I want the toy. Yeah, look. Is it a It's Lurleen. Oh, no, it's My a pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave it to me when I was three years old. Just remember all the stuff with the numbers. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, thanks. That's, that's handy. There's a lot of numbers. Brain doesn't work that good. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. Come on, Maisie, the you mucus must get all of the robot. questions right to submit your application. First question How many parameters can functions take? Oh, now you have to answer them in one go. Next question What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for I need a game? Because I'm not going to remember the next one. So, 8256. Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. I'll get back to you on this. It'd be better to find some reference book on mucus before I answer these. I Maybe need to study the mucus flum. Yeah, let's read them. Let's read them. Mucus is the greatest adventure game scripting language ever created. Mucus was first used in the revolution of game Mansion Mansion. I thought I was going to say Manic Mansion then. Mucus is cooperative multitasking language allowing multiple scripts to run concurrently. Okay. Allows up for 256 room local variables. Functions can take up to 8 parameters. The mucus source level debuggers run on a separate monitor. Variables can be modified while debugging. Compiled scripts are packed into MFL files for distribution. Shipped games are encoded using the unbreakable XOR encryption. 8 actors can be displayed on the screen at any one time. Room backgrounds are compressed into character sets. When the screen scrolls, it moves by 8 pixels. Okay. So the answer to that was true, I think. That's what it asked. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. First question. How many parameters can functions take? Eight. Next question. What is the total number of sounds that can be defined for a game? 256. Next question. Variables can be modified while debugging your program. True. Next question. How many actors can be displayed at one time? Eight. Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you yes. passed the Mucus Phlegm programming Ooh. test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Yeah, but I'm worried that it doesn't have your correct address and name. Oh well, we'll find out. Oh, that's the blank paper. Oh. Okay, but well, use the paper on the printer. There! The blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Okay, use the printer. With I can't reach that. Okay, use computer. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Okay. We'll print it then. Use. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, 
what do I do? How do I print? What is this old fashioned technology? I'm just going to bash my hands on it. Okay, but... Printer ribbon. Okay. Use printer ribbon with paper. I can't use the printer ribbon with that. Okay. What else can we see on here? Vacuum tube? Look at the vacuum. Look at the printer ribbon. This printer ribbon looks all dried out. It won't print anything. Oh, that's right. Okay, so it's printing blank paper because of that. So, uh, let's look at the vacuum tube. It's an LFG1982 tube in perfect condition. Okay. <laughs> that's the MacBook Pro. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was around this time, wasn't it, that uh, the Apple... No, a little bit earlier than 987. Which I don't know, we don't know when this is, actually. Um... Because it's 987 now, but well, obviously this is way before then. Um, so we need water for the printer ribbon. So off to the kitchen, me thinketh. So into the kitchen. Want water. So sink, force it. It's not a force it, it's a tap. It's one of those words that... That uh, is different over here than in, in some other places. There's nothing inside. Okay, one of these has to have There's a, nothing inside. a receptacle. Some kind There's of... There's nothing inside. It looks like there's blood in the fridge. Open the fridge. Broken bottles of ketchup. <laughs> Walk to can of non-trademark infringing poopsie. <laughs> batteries. Why are there batteries in the fridge? Oh dear. Okay, well, there's nothing in there's there. nothing inside there's nothing inside for a really rich guy with a big house right the there's nothing are... inside except yes. an empty glass except an empty glass that's what we want okay it's an empty glass it is an empty glass use it with the faucet or the tap the glass is now filled with water I'm not cleaning the fridge I will close the fridge though it's already I... closed it's not. I did I click the micro? Because I like to save the environment and I like to conserve energy. Pretty sure you can't fix a printer ribbon anyway by just putting water. I can't on. reach that. So use glass of water in print ribbon. It doesn't work in that. Pick up print ribbon. Oh thank goodness my inventory moves. Okay. So, use print ribbon. Soaking the ribbon in water will get it wet, but it won't re-ink it. Well, it may... Ah. Do we just need a new print ribbon? Where am I going to find a print ribbon? I'm glad that your inventory is not limited to that. I was worried that I was screwing myself. Um... It's a gas can. Ha! I'll lick the hook them holes! I'm stumped. Wait, wait, wait. Do we need to start a fire? Can I get some... Can I get some firewood? Oh, he's moved. Why is he moved? Uh, pick up wood pile. Yeah. Diggin! Maybe if we start a fire in the fireplace, something will happen. I don't know. Use in fireplace. Yeah. Use gas can. This log can. should burn really well now. But I don't know why. And I have no way to light it. I left this port. <gasps> I left the tap on. Guys, you didn't tell me. I could have started a fire. Uh, stuff could have started to fire. Could have flooded the place. Carefully handling broken glass. Does it look like there was something if behind If this were it? a Sierra Online graphic adventure, <laughs> I'd be dead now. <laughs> I but love those Sierra. Mucus Flam adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay. Sure would like to work there. Hot sauce. <laughs> ah, 
I love the Sierra Online games. I played a lot of them. Um, King's Quest, Quest for Glory. Um, oh, what are some of the others? I've probably played so many. Phantasmagoria. Do you remember that one? The horror game. It wasn't really that scary, but I thought I was. It thought it was as a kid. What is hot? Sauce? Flask of Extreme Chili Sauce by Brian H J comes with a warning: you might breathe fire. Maybe I should be careful with this. Dun dun dun. I still don't know why Flask I'm doing this. Flask of Extreme yes, Chili Sauce by Brian H J. Okay. Wow. I need, be, <laughs> I need to be a bit nearer the fire. Whoa! But, but, but what did this do? Did I need a fire? <laughs> I feel like I'm just doing random things. <laughs> None of it has any effect. I mean, let's go outside. Maybe there's smoke coming out the chimney. I don't know. No, he's moved again. I thought maybe the fire starting the fire would do something. Such carbon. Carbon. It's carbon. Great. Now I'm carrying around a handful of black soot. Okay. Use the soot in the water. That would just make a sludgy mess. Okay. It's you black soot from the fireplace. Use the soot. That on. would just make a mess. Okay. I'm going to have to figure this out in the next one because um, I am out of time for the stream today. I'm really sorry, guys. Um, but I have to, uh, I have other stuff I need to be doing. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is my very first stream, my very first stream ever. Um, and obviously um, in conjunction with Early Access Gaming. We are going to be doing more streams in the future. It's something that we do want to get into. And um, obviously we have, I have my own YouTube channel where I do my uploads and, and they're linked through to the Early Access Gaming articles that we do as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, I look forward to hanging out with you guys in the future. And uh, by all means, come stop by <clears throat> to Early Access Gaming. Come say hello to us and also Drop by my YouTube channel if you want as well. And um, I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.